All right, welcome back to Off the Tap. It's episode 15. This week we're doing Spindle Tap Brewery Heavy Hands Double IPA. I think we should have inserted the noise where it's like ding, ding, ding after you said heavy hands. Ooh. Well, y'all, y'all, but this about, noise, y'all this noise about to catch these hands. Good. Ready? Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's a better noise. And fight. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Coming uh, in the left hand corner, weighing in at 12 fluid ounces. The stance, dude. The <laughs> Measuring a staggering height of what's the ABV? Four inches. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> It's like eight. My penis. What? Yeah. It's eight point oh. Yeah. Whoo! This is gonna be stout, boys. I'm about to be gone eight at the end of this episode. Well, Randall, I don't know if you knew this about this beer, but it is a double dry hopped IPA. I did say double IPA, but I did. I have absolutely no idea what that means. <laughs> so. The dry hopped? I only know because I looked it up. Yeah. For this specific occasion. I, I thought uh, it was Deepa. <laughs> As I was like, Deepa, what? Deepa. What a heavy hands Deepa. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait a second. I I've said had, it's I've a redneck had. way. It's it's actually Heavy Hands Depot, but it's just very redneck. Is it Heavy Hands Depot? Yeah. <laughs> where did you, you get those tools at, man? I went to the Heavy Hands Depot. <laughs> the Home Depot? That's where you get all the like the, the heavy-duty tools, you know? Not them stupid... <laughs> ain't none of them grade. Sears brand around here. Yeah, we ain't got none of them... That, Craftsman. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, I, I have uh, two of them cracked open on, on my tray, but uh, I can smell it from like yeah. a foot away from, from very my nose. stanky. It's very stanky. I can well, smell the hot. But it smells beans. good. It smells good. Mm. So here's the thing. You know, I, have, I no longer am contagious with COVID, uh, but. Wow. Congratulations. I, uh, can we get a clap I, for that? Can we get a clap <laughs> for that? Yes. You want me to buy you a cake? <laughs> Uh, but uh, I can't actually smell anything still because uh, I can smell it if I put it right up to my nose just a little bit. If it, it feels like if I were to be able to normally smell at 100% and taste at 100%, I can smell and taste at about 20%. Have you so tried? Have you tried? Whenever I tasted this nose? IPA, I was like, wow, you know, like for an IPA, it's not bad. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. I can only taste it a little bit. <laughs> it's 20% like, right. is good. Yeah, like right now, for comparison, right now you're at like a like a human level scent when normally you would be at a dog level scent. I, I think yes, I think that's a very good analogy yeah. to you. That's that's how differentiated your uh, your smelling buds are. You went from yes. a basset hound to a poodle, real quick uh, yeah. within twenty four hours. I was, I was about to say, you know, for a double IPA, you would think that it would be like way stronger of an IPA, and y'all are gonna have to attest to that because right now, to me, it just tastes like regular IPA, and I think that's. A good thing with my COVID smell, a double IPA, I can get a regular IPA flavor. Well, well I'm going to go for it. I'm going to give it a taste. I haven't tasted it yet. Wow. Okay. I'll give it a little. I give it a little tasty taste. It looks very. What color is this? Hmm. It looks like Galveston water. It <laughs> it looks like dirty beach water. Yeah. No. No, it looks like Flint. It uh, looks like Flint, Michigan water because it doesn't have. It, this looks like cloudy water. <laughs> no, it, it it looks just like really cloudy yellow, like liquid. Uh, I I can't. Yeah. If you pour Why it can't out, can I say it if it's true? Can't, can't wait to see what my pee looks <laughs> Do you like. Do know what I'm Flint Michigan this. water looks like? I've never seen it. I've never been probably to Flint like Michigan. Purple or something. Yeah, well, I imagine like... it's, it looks like cloudy water. <laughs> I watched a ton of I watched a ton of basketball games that season. In Flint Michigan, uh, Jackie Moon. Mm hmm. Yeah. Flint the, Michigan uh, Tropics. Uh, Tropics, right? Yeah. Yeah, greatest basketball team of all time. Yeah, man. Well, he, he may have had, you know, like some radiation in the water or something that he got that really just boosted his <laughs> ball playing. It's how he came up with the alley oop. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened yeah. on uh, Space Jam. Is those uh -huh. aren't really monsters; they were just people from Flint, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> After they uh, drank the water, uh, uh, this is uh, not as hard okay, as you expected. That's actually thing. how. Optimus Prime was made. You know, they poured Flint, <laughs> Michigan water into the radiator. Did you say Optimus? Optimus. Optimus okay. Prime. <laughs> okay. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I, th I think what I said the first time is Optimus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Like Octagon? Uh-huh. I think uh, I'm, just, I'm just thinking about the fights because of this beer. So Absolutely. Well, it it doesn't hit as hard as I thought it was going to, being a double IPA. I've had some pretty harsh IPAs. And this is, is not well, 
near as bad. This is, I actually really like this. Like, kind of yeah, like the really conspiracy good. theory. That was a stout IPA. That yeah, one was a was. stronger one. It was. This has a very, I, I guess, it's gonna, Sean, you're going to have to tell me what you think, but it's almost kind of floral. Yeah, for sure. Why can't I tell you what I think? And t well, you don't you have taste. You can't taste your smell. <laughs> is it floral you should, to you? Andrew? Why did you even? Why did you even spend money on the beer? You should just be drinking some water with us. I could yeah. have been drinking any <laughs> other beer and said, "Yeah, I kind of see what y'all are saying." I know yeah. what you're talking about. By the way, <laughs> yeah. by the way, this beer is totally for rich people. This is a rich uh, yeah, person it's beer. Very expensive. Yeah, uh, it? it was freaking fourteen dollars for a six pack. Yeah. Oh yeah, so. that's, that's why I picked it out because uh, I like to elevate my taste buds. Yeah, absolutely. I like to give my taste buds the highest quality alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I will $2 say though, the, beer. the can is very lackluster when it comes to uh, design quality. There's I a like lot it. going on on it, but uh, the but the colors are very uh, anti vibrant. They're very well, dull. Yeah, the it's colors like 64 are. vibes, you know. But like it is. It's, got, it's like, yeah. look, he's holding it, up the hops. It's literally his Mario. Hands are hops. Mario's literally on the can. Yeah, the can yeah, is literally a Nintendo 64 boxing fight with Mario fighting Taylor Lautner. Like, yeah, <laughs> and there's Pac Man <laughs> ghost people in the background. <laughs> yeah for real <laughs> the bunch of red i mean it's it's cool design it's just uh like uh, the colors are very whenever i went to go look for it or uh when i looked for it in the stores i was i i didn't even notice it because there was like so much else going on and then just this really dull can oh look yeah. and then look if you look real close right out of the tap another hop is coming out oh mm. yeah that's the branding for spindle tap uh good eye good eye oh yeah it's not it, it says dippa Good eye, Mike. <laughs> it makes me good eye. It makes me think of like a governmental organization, the Department of India Pale Ales, <laughs> Department of the Interior Petroleum Peninsula Association. Yeah, Association. Penis analogies. <laughs> the Department <laughs> yeah. of Independent Penis Analogies. I was like, I had to, I had to pause and I had to pause and think of something. Or no, penis it's for Department the Department of International Penis Analogies. Yeah. Then International you can, Penis Analogies. Yeah, and then you could bring in, you know size and what is even a penis analogy like a willy whacker or something like <laughs> i mean I don't is know. this just like different uh, names for I it guess my helicopter, my helicopter <laughs> would that be a would that be a metaphor because it's a direct you're not saying it's like a helicopter it's just a helicopter you know <laughs> so i think it's uh, technically a metaphor there i don't know my immediate, yeah, my so. immediate thought was uh an eggplant but i guess that's yeah, more of a uh, comparison i don't know um, we talk about the weirdest thing sometimes. Sometimes that's just, you know, you got to get it out in the open, though. <laughs> you just got to roll with it, you know? Got to roll with the punches. Hey, that kind of works gotta, for this. You just got to air it out, you know? <laughs> you just out. got a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well, uh, yeah, it, I guess uh, Andrew's going to wait for his again, I guess, for his rating or what? I mean, I... And the thing is, is whenever I started to get my taste back a little bit, I tried one of those dreamsicles and I could taste a little bit of orange in it. Um, but it was like a bitter orange. So it was kind of like what y'all were talking about, where it was like the orange peel, actually, not like orange flavoring. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I really think I should hold back on, on ratings and then just well, here's, do here's a, my do thing, a massive right? dump of ratings whenever the uh, whenever my taste comes all the way back. Because here's, if I would have rated now, right? it's not going to be fair to the other ratings. You know what I mean? If you can only taste twenty percent, then whatever rating you give, we have to multiply that by five. So you gotta you gotta go zero to two, and then we'll multiply that by five, and that'll be your rating. Okay. Two would be a ten, obviously. Or should I? Should I maybe rate it out of five, and then we can? No. You know what? No. Well, then the math doesn't matter. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I think we wait. just yeah. We're we're gonna wait. I think we just yeah. waited out. Um, we're we're okay, good well, give, to uh, hold. Why don't you give your rating right, about the? Why don't you give your rating purely based off the can? Yeah, yeah, a blind rating right off just the can. Um, I don't know. I the can pulled me in whenever I was looking at all the cans of stuff to buy for us to do for this. Uh, it kind of pulled me in. I was like, oh, that looks like a fun one. It looks, you know, it's kind of got you know the old. What is it? Is it sixty-four bit? What is that? Uh, That's like 8-bit eight, eight graphics. 8-bit graphics, yeah. Then why did they call it a Nintendo 64? Was that the year it came out? 
No. no it did not come out in 1964, <laughs> Andrew. It came out like 1994. <laughs> well, then what is 64? Where does that come from? Probably the graphic detail. I thought it had a 64-bit processor or something in it. Like, and that's why. No, bro. My my freaking $1,300 laptop has a 64-bit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know anything about technology. Don't come at me with this. This is quite obvious at this okay, point. I don't the, think you need the to graphics, say that. The graphics pulled me in because they were old school looking. You dicks. Okay. There's a there's a there's a dippa for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a dippa. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, I think it did have something to do with like the graphics per inch or something. I'm gonna the look Nintendo that up. 64. I'm gonna look it up. And then also, okay. I'm looking up the uh, IPA thing so we can ex- we can all learn together on how an IPA. Oh, works. I got I got that loaded up already. Um, well, while y'all are doing that, I'm going to. I man, I don't really remember. I remember really liking the conspiracy theory, but I don't remember the flavor of it very much. It just tasted Same. really strong and really bitter. That's that's it. I thought I did really like it though, but I'm gonna give this a. Uh, Named yeah, uh, for its 64-bit central processing unit. So suck my thing, Elaine. <laughs> Dippa. Gosh. All right. Don't over here talk about how I don't know technology when y'all don't know technology, bro. Fair okay, enough. so maybe... Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm stupid. No, not maybe I'm right. I am right. I just looked it up. Okay, you're right about the Nintendo, but... <laughs> I feel like there's a difference between a 64-bit processor and a 64 and a 64-bit processor and a like modern computer. Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, I imagine they've gotten they lied. Um, 64. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Sorry right, to I'm... distract us from our topics. It's just uh, I just had to let you know that. All right, guys, I'm right. leaving. Andrew's right about some. Uh, I'm right about everything all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna give this a six flat. Six flat is my rating. I'll give six it a six flat. four. Yeah. <laughs> Just, Just throwing that off, out there. Based off can only. <laughs> um six flat, six four. The bitterness no, I, is getting I'm too not actually rating it, but I'm it not still actually tastes rating it right really now, good. Son. Just like I said, it's I like think... a really floral flavor. Which I think is like a, a piece of really any IPA that I've had, but this one's really forward with it. As opposed to being like the aftertaste of it, it's floral forward. i be yeah. honest; it kind of it tastes like a a better hopadillo. I think it's pretty dang good. I haven't had a hopadillo in a hot minute, so I don't know. It's from like, what you know from it, what I can taste, it's pretty dang good. It's like most most IPAs or double IPAs, like you drink them, and it's like drinking like a a dirty whiskey where it just gets your throat burning nice and hot. Mm-hmm. Like you drink you drink a hopadillo, and you're like, ah, this is painful. You know, I'll, yeah, this one's very frank. smooth. Yeah, I'll be frank with you. I've never had a double IPA. I think this is the first time I've ever had one. This is the first double IPA I've ever had, and I can feel it coursing through my veins already. <laughs> it's eight percent. So I drink, I drink like ten of these, and I'll be eight percent. Did you IPA? <laughs> what well, you ran on eight percent of my body mass? <laughs> Don't check my calculations. If you think you can feel it now? You next time you just need to put a rubber band right here around your arm and then tap three times. No. <laughs> Tap three times and then you. <laughs> I'm good, bro. I'm just rubber inject. band, and you'll be good to go. I'm just good. Inject some heavy hands right into your neck muscle, and you'll be yeah. perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, you'll never get COVID again, Andrew. If you do that, <laughs> uh, the heavy hands will fight off the virus. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's absolutely. I think it's weird that I got it this time. Uh, I think you know, like. I think the immune system works in, in funny ways. Like, cause J- when Jill had it, I didn't get it, but I think it's because, you know, the whole time Jill had it, my body is used to her kind of germs and bacteria. Mm-hmm. So yes. when she gets COVID and she gets that sickness, she's has some of those germs and bacteria in there where I can, my, my immune system is kind of built up an immunity to them. Whereas I don't kiss my dad on the mouth. You know what I mean? So yeah, like, but not usually one anyways. time, I mean, <laughs> but this one time that you did, it really wait. <laughs> it really gave. It really affected me. <laughs> yeah. But if she had. I just got a question. Was was she down with the sickness? Um, uh, I think she was. She was. She was kind of up with the sickness. You know what I mean? Uh, but I. I know. I get. I get day. what you're saying. <laughs> Bad day. You got to be down with the sickness. Yeah. You can't be up with the sickness. 
I'm always down with the sickness. I'm actually gonna bump mine to a six point five. I I I feel like a six doesn't give it enough justice. A six flat. Uh, it's kind of like really like you know how all the girls online are like if you ever, if you're not over six foot don't even message me. That's kind of how I feel. Is like that's like a such a, too a, too much of a standard rating. Like it needs to be over six foot. You know <laughs> that's how good it is. Well, well most dudes aren't from zero to ten feet tall, so that's inaccurate. There are ten foot people. I'm no, there isn't. <laughs> no, there isn't. No, there isn't. <laughs> The tallest person in history is like it's eight, like eight two. feet. Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. Watch, watch, I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> I said this entire entire episode is just gonna be Andrew fact checking us. <laughs> All right, what, what what did you give your rating, Sean? I didn't hear it. Dude, oh son. shit! What? He was eight foot eleven. Holy! Oh wow. Damn, yeah, he was almost nine foot, which is closer to he's, ten foot than eight he's foot. So here's a picture a proven of this fact. guy. I can't see it. Hold on. Oh my god! Yeah, like, dude, could you imagine? That chick is imagine? literally at his waist. Yeah, and you would think at first when you look at the picture, you'd think they're like eight year olds. No, those are grown ass women. That's a dude, grown they're, woman. They're freaking dip a height. The car is Compared at his waist, guy. bro. <laughs> they could stand up and <laughs> dip a height. <laughs> They're freaking the, the the top of the car was at his waist, bro. You yeah, thought dude. you thought you seen those God, commercials where Shaq's just driving a Buick? Imagine, Shaq. just imagine this guy driving like a Prius. So like, where, where what dog. kind of car would he have headroom in? You know, yes. not to mention a Dodge Ram. <laughs> Texas edition. Not Texas to mention made edition, for yeah. the look at Dodge this Ram guy. Made for the men that are nine feet tall. Those he the did. man that is nine foot tall. Made it takes a, it takes a whole co cotton farm to make his suit. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah, that's expensive, bro. Imagine. He's the, he's wearing the original Versace. <laughs> oh god. The OG. Uh, dude, I need so I need like I need my entire wall in in front of me or like behind my monitor to just be covered with all the sticky notes of my beers and all the ratings I've given because it gets increasingly harder to to we, I, we thought it was going to be easier, you know, as we go on to write these beers. But now is it's just like, Is there one oh, in particular man, are, that I can... Are they uh, as good as the last one, or like... Is there one well, in particular I, I can give you a comparison for? Because I have all of them written down. What did I rate the first IPA we had? <clears throat> the Conspiracy Theory? Yeah. You gave it a 6.0. I gave it a 6.0? Yep. All right, let me take another drink. Let me see. See, I'm almost of the mindset where you shouldn't compare it to... A another beer you should just rate it based on how you feel but then again like no you should definitely compare it that's the whole point you're trying to find your favorite one you're comparing it to everything else you've tasted true. and I, I really like that you've been keeping track of what we've been rating them because that's going to come and save our asses later honestly there's got to be honestly, a way for me to like, really, share this with y'all I really like this one it's really I can, good I can, I can, I really I can make it. an excel file for us <laughs> yeah where it pulls the top rated beer, tells us what our top rated beer is as we update it and everything. Oh, I'm, do I'll that. do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one, usually I, it takes me a hot minute to finish IPAs, but I'm almost done with this first one already. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, Sean's about to be drunk I, already, bro. I'll give it a, 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 a 7 9. Uh, ooh. Ooh, uh, ooh. Uh, 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 mm, mm. <laughs> Wow. All right. All right, Sid the Sloth, get out of the microphone. <laughs> it is really good. I think it's deserving of that. I rating. think it. I like yeah, it. Yeah. It's really What'd good. What'd you give it, Sean? I'm sorry. I was seven, 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 nine. Oh, okay. Seven point nine. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a I'm, I'm standard NBA player. <laughs> For real. Yeah. I just, I spit nothing but lies today, apparently. Red, that's... Randall doesn't understand height. <laughs> the entire Y <laughs> dimension is off of his brain. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. But for different reasons than height. <laughs> Math is messed It's like me seven up, foot nine. That's like a foot taller than me. Yeah, that's probably about right. <laughs> yeah, because I'm definitely six nine. <laughs> Easy on a bad day without my shoes on. I'm pretty yeah, close dude. to it if I have uh, boots on. Okay. Oh, dude, have, have y'all seen? Maybe not. But there's a dude on TikTok and one of his legs is shorter than the other one. Yeah, I've seen it. Like significantly, like by a foot. And so mm -hmm. he has like this shoe that has like a foam bottom on it that's like a foot tall. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I just thought of this, but I don't feel like that's the way to do that. Say he didn't have his shoes on, but I was like, dude, just imagine what? wearing those shoes. 
Why would that not be the way to do that? What other way would you do it? Um, pour some water on it. Maybe get like a. <laughs> I'm sorry. Turn I'm it sorry. off and put it back on. And turn it back on. Put it in rice. <laughs> like a prosthetic, like a I'm prosthetic sorry. thing that attaches to his foot. I didn't mean maybe? it. And it just looks like, like he's a got stilt? a really weird kneecap. <laughs> What uh, shouldn't I even like say anything? Like a still? That's basically what it is. It's just foam. Yeah, but no, because you just see this think about, elongated think about the... freaking shoe versus like I'm saying, like you make it the you make it look like he's got a longer leg, not a longer foot. Well, my thing is think of the <laughs> the physiology of the ankle. <laughs> like, yeah, you can't just have a stick going from the bottom of your that's... heel. That's true. It's just a foot you know tall how high often heel. You would roll your ankle, bro. Yeah, but have a foot long rubber sole. That looks so dumb. Like there has to be a better way like, to do that. We're in twenty twenty one, bro. Like, like take this man's leg apart and add some femur or something. That's I, not how like it that works. <laughs> he's not. For, he's like not that. one of those dinosaurs that you just put in water and it just gets bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, I'm saying like you. you but imagine add in he was. Though, but imagine he was. Though. You think we could do that now with 2021? Imagine he was just like one of those dinosaurs, though, and they just forgot to put that side of him in. I shouldn't even <laughs> brought this analogy up. It's not. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not kind funny. Of it's not funny at him. Like I'm not making fun at the at the guy. I just <laughs> yeah, I know of I know. the situation because I've seen a video of him freaking hooping, just absolutely yeah. draining threes with that shoe on. Well, uh -huh. it's because imagine if you put Nike shocks on that guy, he's going to have foot long shocks. His ass is just going to spring <laughs> 10 feet in the air. It's like those commercials. It's like those commercials you used to see on Nickelodeon where it's like, moon shoes. All right, <laughs> jump higher. You can do it. Dude, the moon shoes. I wanted moon shoes so bad. I never got any. I didn't either. I, I bet they made some... you jump like half a centimeter higher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they, they were like, it's like a trampoline on the go. You're like, there's no <laughs> way, bro. There's no way. Absolutely bro. no way. I'm just busting a backflip out of the sidewalk just over a, here. How painful to your... Okay, so just think about it. Imagine jumping on a trampoline with one foot with the other foot off. How painful to your groin would it be to duct tape both your feet to two different trampolines and try and walk around all day? Oh, Absolutely horrible. <laughs> Even if there are uh, many trampolines, I don't can care. we also talk about how bad like Nike shocks are for your feet alone, let alone moon shoes? Oh yeah, terrible. Oh really? It's... How do you know they're bad for you? Are you a podiatrist now? <laughs> <laughs> like, Shut how, up. how do you know that? I was actually told by a doctor. Yes, they're horrible for your ankles <laughs> and your calves. The, bad, well, the, the ones I the ones I calves. heard that were horrible are the Skechers shape ups. They like they got sued. For a lot of money because i don't know I just oh know the that ones that are the ones that are like like humped those, are, know, the like, those are the sketchy uh, shape yeah ups. the ones that like you only saw fat grandmas wearing <laughs> yeah <laughs> those are sketchy shape ups bro yeah first uh, of all that's just sketchers in general at this point yeah or maybe not hey, this but maybe like hey. six years ago i would i, I would have some sweet ones now. i would love to have a pair of size 11 light up sketchers it's oh, yeah. crazy. I would love it, dude. It's crazy to watch the glow up from all of the stuff from when we were kids. You know, like um, Champion. We used to buy that stuff at Walmart, bro. Now it's one hundred and sixty dollars yeah. for a hoodie. You got yeah. Yeah, Oasics yeah, exactly. shoes that we used to make fun of kids for wearing. Now it's <laughs> yeah. like everyone wants to buy them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like everything kind of flip. <laughs> you said Oasics shoes, and I totally for thought of Osiris's. Does anybody remember yeah, those? Osiris. I don't know what that <laughs> the is. Ugly skater shoes. Thick skate shoes of all time. <laughs> think of like, oh, they're not Air Force One. There was but never, like, there was those Nike shoes. They were like high tops that like we used to wear in basketball. Like everyone thought were cool. They kind of look like Air Force Ones, but like a high top version. Yeah, and a cheaper version, significantly cheaper. Yeah, you know, talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't remember what they were like, called. It was like those with double padding in there. And then they were just like random colors for skateboarding. Bro, the Osiris, man. They, it was. And you, you, every person that wore them, the shoelace was never tied. The shoelaces oh, yeah. were just hanging around. They were if just kind of on pair, there. If you wear a pair of Osiruses, I guarantee you also have your wallet attached to your belt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Via chain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you also have athlete's foot because there's no way your foot is breathing inside of all that padding. <laughs> no. It's like wearing a memory foam bed on each foot. 
<laughs> Except not near as comfortable. I wouldn't complain, Jump bro. higher. Except not near as comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jump higher. John, you should do. You seriously should do like uh, the arcade game voice in the games, like in the arcade games. You should be the voice. Andrew Simmons. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Hole in what? P. Nice on. <laughs> nice on. Oh, dude. <laughs> that was the best thing to hear from Wii Sports, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice on. The golf. <laughs> Dude, do you remember when we were in your living room playing freaking Wii disc golf? Uh, why the why the hell first that was all, a thing? I'll never know. Okay, but first of all, but, disc golf was so fun on that. Are you kidding me? It was Wii but, Sports Resort, like, bro. Uh, dude, I almost I almost fun. broke numerous things in my living room though, swinging dude, my arm like that. No, dude, we, we're, no, we're sitting, we, hold on, Wii hold Sports on, Resort. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on this Andrew, is a good story. Sorry, sorry. So we're in Randall's living room, right, playing Wii Resort Sports disc golf or whatever. And I'm, I throw the discus, that's not the right word, disc, and it's flying and it's going right at, right at the pin and then it falls and hits the ground and it says, just short. And I, I turned and I looked at Randall and I said, story of my life. <laughs> Bro, it was Bro. Like one of the most iconic <laughs> memories of our friendship. <laughs> Cause we we just we've been grinding this game out just back and forth for freaking at least two hours probably fourteen days in a row on Wii Sports ten hours a day. <laughs> we were trying to hit a hole in one so bad, and he threw it, and I was like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! It's going! It's going!" It just lands just short. Just short. Story of my life. Yeah. Dude just looked at me dead face. <laughs> oh, it was funny. great. I always played the the fencing or the um, the bow and arrow one. Oh, so you were a loser. <laughs> I never played the fencing because I never owned a Wii Sports Resort. The only place I could play it was Randall's house. Dude, the bow and arrow one was so freaking difficult. Why was it that hard, bro? It's only hard for you, bro. <laughs> it's just like, I did it every time. Dippa. Story of my life. I got a bullseye every time. <laughs> 60% no, of the time, I, went, did, I one, a bullseye I went to time. the Wii Sports Olympics because I got a bullseye every time. <laughs> yeah, where was that? The basement? No, it was on ESPN2, <laughs> dick. <laughs> Dude, one time... Oh. It was on ESPN, the Ocho. One time yeah, yeah. ESPN, the Ocho. <laughs> it was right, bro, after, it was right after ping so pong. Yo, Dude, Ocho have you ever seen great, that guy bro. pull the bow back in the Olympics with his foot? No. Uh, yes. What? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Uh it was a guy, he was like an amputee. And so he didn't have like he was the MVP? Uh, no, he didn't he was an amputee, so he didn't have like an arm. <laughs> so he, he, he canceled us. He, he takes his toe and grabs the bow and pushes yeah, it. I've seen it, yeah. And then like holds it with his mouth and then shoots, and this dude's getting like all bullseyes. Yeah, I've seen it. It's pretty <laughs> impressive, honestly. Oh my god. <laughs> there was there was one weekend I spent on freaking Wii Sports, just the regular one. <laughs> I, and I say weekend because I spent every waking hour of Saturday and Sunday both trying to hit <laughs> ten consecutive out of the <laughs> out of the park home runs <laughs> on the <laughs> loop, dude. Oh. on the home run derby, bro. Not just home runs. I'm talking the ones that go. Out of the park. Leave the park, yeah. And it's like fireworks going Bro, why stuff. was it so hard? Did you ever like... succeed? Yes, I finally did. did. And when I did, I threw the remote into the couch and I turned the Wii off before saving. <laughs> Rand so Randall much. takes the, just the wrist strap off the Wii remote, throws it on the ground, steps on it, and goes, I am inevitable. <laughs> just walks out of the room. I felt so powerful, bro. I didn't play Wii for like the next seven months. <laughs> Every time you walk past the Wii, you just flick it off and you're like, ah. <laughs> Pretty much, bro. Pretty much. Bro, I it was I hard had... to hit home runs in that in that Wii Sports, dude. Because I was like, you yeah. know, I'm like I'm like ten, and I'm like I'm the greatest baseball player alive, dude. And I get up there, I get up there, and I'm like, and it just grounded to first base, and I'm like, what the heck, dude? <laughs> Bro, yeah, yeah, you can't. The key to it was you can't. Uh, you can't treat it like normal baseball. You're, like <laughs> yeah. you, you have to roll your hands to hit a home run in that. And, and then you get to I, like level fifteen, they start throwing sinkers, and you're like, "What the heck?" Oh yeah, dude, and it's always that freaking. You know it, what was that one uh, NPC's name? The black one that it was always good at everything that would knock you out in the boxing in like two seconds. Oh yeah, I the one that looked like Darius was. Rucker. Yeah. <laughs> 
he really did, dude. Bro, he would throw like knuckle curves to you on that freaking <laughs> yeah. Hellblade Derby, bro. He would. Straight I don't remember what his is, name. What does NPC stand for? I heard that earlier today. Non-player character. Oh. It's a like, yeah, it's an AI character in a video game. Yeah, I, I heard that earlier. I just didn't know what it meant it, whenever I heard it. What dude, he did, I one time legit in that that weekend I was playing. I whenever I got matched up with him as the pitcher, I would leave and get, and come <laughs> back and get someone else, bro. I was like, I ain't hitting the home run off this one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. This guy's about to the strike one, me out. The one that would piss me off was the freaking hundred pin bowling. Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah. Until you figure out you the cheat a, for it. Yeah, I was gonna say you know there was a hack for that one, right? Did oh, you know? Really? You yeah, like what, what roll it heck? into the gutter. You like roll it into the gutter intentionally with like a bunch of curve on it, mm -hmm. and it would go down the gutter for like the entire time, and it would just hit like this invisible wall and shoot into the pins like super fast and knock them all over. Yeah. Huh. It was yeah because uh, there's no way you're rolling a hundred pins over just like straight down the middle. My favorite thing to do no, in that I got game, I really one wanted time to do and shut the Wii off, bro. <laughs> One That's time right. I really wanted to, what I wanted to do in real life when we were playing, when we were doing bowling was when you could do in the Wii where you, your hand goes backwards and you throw the ball backwards and all the Wii's go, yeah. oh! like yeah. I've always wanted yes, to do that dude. in real life. What I used to do is hold at it ball, backwards. Too. I would hold it backwards and let my guy get all the way up to the front and just keep holding it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way to do it. That it. was the way to do it. That was the way to get all strikes. Oh, oh man. Those were the days, bro. That the the freaking the golf or the disc golf and the golfing on the Wii Sports uh, Resort was good, and then uh, dude, the jet skiing was my other go to on the Wii Sports Resort. I never did jet skiing. Oh, dude, there was jet skis. Yeah, there was jet I figured skis. Figured it would be why? Why would you do jet ski on Wii Sports? You should go do that in real life. I would be interested well, to would. take a pole. But you know, I was a freaking pole. jet ski. No, I did own a jet ski and I would go ride what? jet skis, but I was also like 11 and I was home alone. So I was jet skiing <laughs> via the Wii, you freaking asshole. Get your Randall get just goes and drops license, the jet bro. ski on the boat slip and his bicycle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna pull it up <laughs> behind my freaking Schwinn. His back caps are the size of like Earl Campbell. Like, whereas like nowadays the kids are getting on <laughs> their bike and holding their remote controls to do virtual reality jet skiing and just riding into a tree or something. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I would, I had, I would really be interested when I was growing up. I'd be interested to take a poll and see how many people still own a Wii. Did, I Randy still own a Wii, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Andrew, do you? Does the thing still turn on? Yep. How sure are you? hundred percent. We should come over and <laughs> okay. do like a Wii Sports tournament. That'd be fun. We should. We should do it out in the game room on the projector. Let's do it. Just thinking, we can make and then we can record an episode and we can drink a wee little beer. Ooh. Oh, nice. That's a good one. My brother has one too. It still works. The only thing that sucks is like now it's obsolete because the only reason people still used them for like the past four years was for Netflix and they stopped updating Netflix <laughs> yeah. for it. So yeah, okay. Everyone retired so, the Wii and the Switch so, came out. I've been hearing rumors, right, while we're, we're on the topic of video games. So how true is it that they might be bringing N64 and GameCube games to the Nintendo Switch? Is anybody, do you know? I don't know how true. Uh, uh, no, because my friend, or, or, so my friend Micah, he has, do you remember the, Mar the original like Mario game where you would jump in the paintings in the castle? Yeah, and Mario, yeah. Super Mario 64. Mario 64, yeah. Yeah, they have that on Switch. Yeah, yeah that, that one's available. Yeah, uh, but Switch has this thing where uh, they have, like, a bunch of games for Super Nintendo and a bunch of games for the uh, original Nintendo that you can play with a, as long as you have a Nintendo Switch, like, online subscription. Mm -hmm. And there's been a bunch of rumors that they're going to do that for the 64 as well, bring a bunch of those games to it. That would I be freaking awesome. hope so. I hope so. The bigger thing was freaking that they got leased or released this week was that they're bringing uh, NCAA football back. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's so been... All, it's, to all consoles or what? Yep, to everything. I always... Dang. You know what I always hated they're, about it, it's good, NCAA football? They said in the next two to three years and it'll be, it'll be coming back on shelves. You know what I always hated about that game? What? what? I wouldn't say the players' names. Pissed me off. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah, part of it now. Supposed to get money. The big part of it now is that they're hoping in two to three years that college athletes will be able to, uh, you know, profit from it. Yeah, I mean, from that kind of. It stuff. didn't matter. It didn't matter what you did up until NCAA. Like 
09, you could just run University of Texas and you could just run over everybody. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, I saw a freaking clip. I saw a clip on Instagram earlier and it was like uh, the most triggering play from NCAA football. And <laughs> this quarterback gets absolutely just destroyed, right? Like he gets hit at the legs and he's bent backwards. And he, and he still throws releases it the throw. Like 70 yards. It's like yeah. a 70 yard touchdown. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's a perfect spiral. Oh, dude. <laughs> well, oh, even, so if he, even if he even if you wouldn't have caught it, they would have just been like roughing the passer, 50 yard penalty. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, now yeah. they would. It oh, was uh, I, it was funny though watching that. I, I played it on the PSP, and what? I could run. I could run. Uh, I could run a hail mary. And run it with my QB every time, and it was a touchdown 100 percent of the time. Yeah, dude, that's how it is you, in Madden for me sometimes. You you know what the greatest memory in my life Four is verts, on bro. the PSP? What what? Being 10 years old, playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City, flying in an Apache helicopter, and hearing Phil Collins, "I can feel it coming in the air tonight." <laughs> as I'm playing Grand Theft like, Auto, yeah. as a old, dude, it yeah. was. Awesome, dude. The PSP <laughs> was dangerous because yeah. like back when we were like ten, and that thing came out, every ten-year-old had portable access to the internet. Yeah, so like, <laughs> horrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great idea, I right? Ne- I never had a PSP. My, my brother got one, and I was always jealous of it. But uh, he had a he had like a motocross game on it, <clears throat> and I would always sneak into his room whenever he wasn't home and take it and play it. Because <laughs> I always wanted to do backflips on the four wheelers and stuff on that. Did I you know exactly PSP? what game you're talking about. I had that game too. And then I also had uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Siege or something. Rainbow Six or Rainbow Six Vegas. Probably. Something. Yeah. It was Vegas. It wasn't Siege. There's no way it was Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> no, yeah. not the new one. Not the new one. But like, yeah, whatever the old game was that was on PSP, I had it. The, the <laughs> most intense video game memory of my childhood was playing rainbow six C, uh rainbow six vegas 2 um it, it i i was oh man i mean i think i was like a 10 or so and you know it was on the 360 right when the 360 came out which uh-huh. can we also just talk about real quick the 360 was one of the greatest consoles ever change the game bro Halo 3, bro, when Halo 3 came out on that B? Shoot. Oh God. Absolutely changed incredible the, game. Changed the whole world, brother. Changed it the did. whole world. That's what that console did. But yeah, I would I would go over to my cousin's house and we'd hop on the 360 and just jam out some Rainbow Six uh, Vegas 2. And you, we, we weren't playing online. It was just the two of us, but there was a mode called Terrorist Hunt. And it was like, you know, you would load into a map and you'd have to go kill all the terrorists and stuff. And we got to a point where we were... So 2001. In, yeah, and we we got to a point where we were running it on like the hardest settings and stuff, and like just walking. So you got it. good at it. Oh, we got really good. We were like peeking corners and stuff really easily, and it was insane. Like learning the map by like just like the back of our hand. But there was one moment, bro, <laughs> where uh we were sitting or we were we were up on the second floor of one of the buildings, just like uh like looking around, looking around. He was like, oh, I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. <laughs> And I was freaking out. I was like, where, where, where? And he goes, they're coming from under down. Bro. <laughs> it was the <laughs> pinnacle of my freaking childhood. They're coming from under down us. I, I, I <laughs> like, down us. Because we weren't even, we didn't have headphones on. We were just playing through the freaking TV speakers. So I, lo- I dropped my controller. I looked at him and I was like, what the hell does under down mean? <laughs> 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 they're coming from under down. What? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Those were the days, uh, bro. Whenever you had to worry about screen watching, oh, yeah, man. yeah. How do you, bro, okay. playing Mar- Super, or Mario Kart sixty four on a freaking four person split screen with my brother and his friends, bro? Why do you know where I'm hiding, bro? I still got three balloons. Y'all still, y'all stop coming for me, man. <laughs> Mario Kart sixty four with the balloons, the battle mode, dude. That was the test. That that made boys men. Yeah, it did. It did. <laughs> that was. That it was also deep. ruined a lot of friendships. You got a piece. <laughs> You got a piece of cardboard taped in the middle of the screen so you can't look across. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so to get back to topics relevant to our our beer. Yeah, we kind of went on a tangent there. 
We I'm did. enjoying this tangent though. It's almost like I think we we did want to we did want to go over the uh, IPA. Oh so, yeah, we have been we have, have been kind of on topic because we've got like a you know kind of a video game style. That's here, true. So we, That's we, true. We've been good. Oh yeah. No, we haven't been off, we haven't been off topic. It's just <laughs> we want. I know we wanted to cover some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's do uh, it. So start start with how IPAs are made, and then we'll jump into this celebrity thing. So. <clears throat> seen here that so IPA is Indian pale ale, a style means that an ingredient in a brewing process leads to a certain flavor, blah blah blah. So uh, dry hopped is the process of steeping hops and fermented and in fermenting beer instead of adding them while the liquid is boiling. This process creates an extremely strong aroma, amplifying the fruity, piney, candy sweet notes of the hops. It Fruity. makes the beer That's smell the better thing floral. without adding any bitterness. And then double dry hops, double dry hopped, is a lot of brewers say IPAs are double dry hopped. And while this sounds self-explanatory, it's actually meaningless. There's no real definition for double dry hopped. It could be a dry hop with twice the amount of hops or the addition of a fresh batch of hops halfway through the process. Huh. Hmm. So it's a little... So apparently it's a little vague. Well, they so also have a triple dry hopped, and it says uh, next to that one, it says, seriously, no one knows what this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will. We'll have to get around to doing I've a, a TIPA. I've never even heard of that. A TIPA, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to get around to doing a TIPA at some point. But So yeah. this is one of the ones that's, I guess it would be double dry hopped because it's a double IPA. Yeah. Right? That's, that's what I was, yeah. So they do something that no one knows what they do. Well, he said they, they either use double the amount of hops or they add hops in halfway through the process. Yeah, well, that's a 50-50 yeah. shot, right? Yeah. So we yeah. don't know exactly what they did to make this. <laughs> no, Whatever not. they did worked because it's good. I love it how it says good. it doesn't add any bitterness. My ass, bro. Uh, IPA is way more bitter than a lot of other beers. Is yeah. it not? Yeah. I would think so. Well, I think they're saying like, it doesn't a double IPA doesn't add more bitterness than a normal IPA. Well, I'm talking about just even the regular dry hop where it says the process creates an extremely strong aroma, amplifying the fruity, piney, candy sweet notes of the hops. It makes the beer smell better without adding any bitterness. My ass. Bro, it's definitely bitter. <laughs> more ass. bitter than other beers. To me. <laughs> like, it's way more bitter. We can't trust this website now. Everything that we just heard is a, is a lie. Everything I know is a lie. <laughs> Maybe the people that are like writing this just don't have taste buds. <laughs> I guess, yeah, know. did you write this article? Yesterday? But me, me being, co if I wrote it, it was while I was having COVID. Yeah. All right. So now that we know what an IPA is, ladies and gents, let's go ahead and jump into who do you think the one celebrity that if you were to hop in the ring with, Go to oh, I like that. freaking town. That's All right. Good, that was a good. There's no rules. Use of the word. You could just take, take them on. Absolutely easy. Beat? Okay, here. Okay, I want y'all to go. Meryl first, Streep. Who would you beat? <laughs> Meryl and I, I think, I think, I think personally, I, I don't think you should go and pick like easy people. Like me, I was talking about this topic with Randall earlier, and I was like. Yeah, well, I could always go and pick that Michael Scarra guy from Superbad or whatever his name is. Michael Sarah, that's whoop, what it is. Michael Sarah, yeah. I could is, whoop his there. ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. But well, I think that's too easy. So I think we should we should pick something where you think you're gonna go in there. It's a fair fight, but you think you're gonna come what, out. What, what about out. this? Hear what me. about this too, though? Is there a celebrity that you want to fight that you would just you just want to punch in the face? Okay, all right, that's a good point too. We can do that. Um, okay, can can I add an aside real, yep. real quick? Bro, I feel like one of the most difficult people to fight in a boxing match would totally be Martha Stewart. Oh, I she think plays she prison put rules, up, bro. I think yeah. Yeah. Martha Stewart plays she prison does, bro. rules, bro. She's coming at you with the wooden spoon like your grandma, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. She, and, it, and she's going to break it in half and stab you with it. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, Bill's still We're hanging. She's just whacking you over the noggin. <laughs> Martha Stewart plays no games, bro. She plays no games. <laughs> she doesn't. And then she'll, she going to tag up, Snoop Dogg in. Yeah, she'll straight up kill you and then grab the blunt from Snoop. Snoop DeLoop. <laughs> she will. <laughs> straight up, bro. She'll ash it on your dead body. <laughs> yeah. Uh but but who do you think seriously? 
Not Meryl Streep, Sean. Who do you think? We're going off who who I think I could win or who I would want to fight, just based off sportsmanship. Who could catch these hands, bro? Oh man, uh, what celebrity could catch these hands? I don't know. Is it like someone I want to fight because I hate them? I'll tell them, you who like... I want to punch in the face. I'll tell you who I want to <laughs> punch right, in the face. The hardest go. out of any celebrity on the face of this planet is Jake Paul, bro. Oh, I oh, hate yeah. his face. And I hate his cockiness. <laughs> you have two boxing wins in your career. One against an ex five foot nine NBA player, brother. Calm yeah. your roll. You don't get to call out <laughs> anybody you want. I agree. Oh, I agree man, he's annoying. And I used to hate Logan, too. But Logan made a huge mistake, and he has uh, changed his life since then. Uh, he has become a significantly better person. Well, I but, mean, the thing is, when you're not talented, you got to do crazy stuff to stay relevant. So. Yeah, that's true, <laughs> too. That's true, too. Uh, but, yeah, every time I see Jake Paul's face on the interwebs or on tv interviews or something i'm like oh my god your face needs some rearranging brother and do i think i could beat him <laughs> absolutely not he would probably beat my ass he would probably whip the crap out of me even if i wasn't in this no wheelchair. dude i say this once an episode but he ever seen a joust <laughs> okay. that's all i'm saying <laughs> i don't think so dude he's pretty he's pretty dang oh, strong i don't know i can't really think of you know let me let me talk while i think about you know celebrity i would want to I would want to fight out of pure like sportsmanship and out of respect. I probably I probably throw down with Ryan Reynolds in the ring. Okay. Hey, yo, hey. Just because you know, I mean, okay. that okay. would be fun. I think that'd be a fair match too. I dig that. That'd probably be a fair matchup. Yeah. Yeah, we got similar body types, you know. <laughs> I would. I has, wouldn't know who to. He vote has six on. more abs than I do, but. Yeah, but you're a little you know, more younger I mean, and it. agile, probably. <laughs> yeah. You know, you probably got similar uh, reach, similar, uh, similar build. Yeah. Stature, at least. You know whose face needs a little rearranging right now? Whose face needs not be, not this. This has nothing to do with how I feel about them, but I, th just the weekend. The oh weekend my needs God. a punch to the face. He just needs. You said a little face rearranging <laughs> after that little. After that Did little. You see stunt, that picture? Uh, have you him? seen that? No, I haven't. Stunt to, you haven't seen? Look up. Look up the weekend. Uh, plastic surgery. Look that up. It's like it's like to support his new album or something. It's so why don't, why don't why don't you just explain it to me? I, I need to. But he got like he got. No, like, you need to see it. It's scary. He looks like a monster. I don't know if it's real or makeup, but he did like some kind of something to his face to like I don't know. Just kind of yeah. It's supposed to kind of look like a weird monster or something like that for something, but. I, don't, I can't think of any celebrities that I would just want to oh my fight God. just because they pissed me <laughs> off. Dude, someone made a meme and said he looks like handsome Squidward from Spongebob. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does, exactly. Right? That's the one I saw. Yeah, that's the one I saw. He does, dude. That's freaking hilarious. Yeah, he did, he needs a face rearranging as well. That's a good one. I don't know who, who like I could actually beat in a fight, though, that's a celebrity at this point. Um I like to see how many like, rounds I could go against Conor McGregor just by just by dodging and running around. <laughs> probably not a lot. Probably thirteen. No way. Just by running around and dodging, dude. You'd get so tired, bro. No, man. <laughs> yeah. I got that, cardio on deck. That ring's a lot bigger than you think, brother. <laughs> it's a couple that I, I just want to. Just punch in the face. <laughs> There's just, there, like, you know, there's some people that I also just want to like sweep their legs out from under them and make them oh, fall. Oh, dude, you know who I want? You know who I want? You know who I'll take to the ring? Michelle Obama. She took away my good high school lunches, dude. That's uh, very I'm valid in, point. For I'm a in fight. on that. I'm in on that. I'm in on that. She I think made we should, me eat sweet potato fries. From I our think we should triple bro. team Michelle Obama. That's what <laughs> okay. we should do. Okay, wait. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> you can't say it like. <laughs> I mean fight, bro. I mean fight. <laughs> you can't say it like that, bro. Come on. Oh, that's gonna be trending later. <laughs> oh god. You can't say that. We're putting this on the internet, Andrew. <laughs> it was I was talking about fighting, bro. I wasn't I was just talking about like popping her for giving me those nasty ass chicken. You can't oh, dude, say it's, that it's gonna either. be it's gonna you be surprising, dude. Either. It's gonna be surprising. She's gonna be having a nice vacation in the Bahamas. She's gonna wake up and it's gonna it's gonna flash purple lights right in her face and it's gonna go 
And now, and a cage is gonna drop from the ceiling. <laughs> the three gonna, of us are gonna come out gonna, of the ocean. I'm gonna slap the bottom of my elbow and jump off the top rope, give her the people's elbow, look her dead in the <laughs> eye, and say, "That's for my just, French fries, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just pulling y'all on a freaking on a lifeboat behind me. I've got a freaking no. A you know what took the hardest? On my chair. You know what took the hardest hit because of her? <laughs> just roll up on the beach. What? The rolls. The rolls. <laughs> the rolls. Yeah. That took the uh, hardest yeah. hit. We went from like these delicious, soft, like to white rolls. wheat rolls, bro. Wheat rolls. And it, it ruined. It absolutely never ate school lunch again. I had the sweet potato <laughs> fries one time, almost <laughs> threw up. Never ate. I, I ate chips Dude, from the school cafeteria every You day know, after school that. lunches are bad. You know, you know how that she made the school lunches terrible? When I willingly decided that it was better for me to eat a chicken <laughs> salad every day for lunch. Yeah. Instead of chicken tenders and pizza. And you know what sucked is because a lot of those lunch ladies at the freaking high school, too, could whip up some fire food, bro. <laughs> they could. They could. You they give them a mini key really? packet of instant mashed potatoes and they could turn Billy, that shit bro. into catering gold. Bro, for real. Do y'all remember Billy? I didn't know any of Billy? their names, bro. Oh, I, yeah, I do. I don't remember what she Billy's like, a little but... blonde lady. I don't remember what she oh, looks like. Oh, I do, but... yes. She Billy's was so little... tight, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, and can I? I'd always get a Gatorade or something with my lunch. I'd be like, "Can I get a Gatorade?" And she'd be like, "Oh, you only got sixty cents left. Gatorades are a dollar." And then like I would go the next day, and uh, Billy Billy would be working, and I'd be like, "Can I get a Gatorade?" She's like, "Here, honey, it's on the house." Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. There, Hell there was yeah. a couple of cool ones that would let stuff so slide. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I was negative one day, and she's like, "I'm not gonna not give you a lunch. Here, go ahead." Yeah, I'm, dude. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? That's a real lunch lady. It's like, oh, I'm gonna let this kid starve because he got a negative <laughs> dollar in his bank account. Yeah, here's a piece of cheese <laughs> between two white slices of bread. Yeah. <laughs> Get your nutrients, honey. Yeah, yeah, that would that would suck. I that think did suck. I, think, I mean, you, I, I think I'm taking Will Ferrell to the boxing rink. Oh yeah. You think you can take out Will Ferrell? I think. I ours would be more of a playful fight. I but... think if y'all were fight, if y'all had a boxing match, and I don't want you to take this personally, Andrew. I really don't. I love you. You're one of my really close friends. You're one of my best friends, brother. But I would. Put, Will Ferrell got about a hundred pounds on you. But dog. I would put all of my money on Will Ferrell. Nah, nah. Okay. Have so you seen Andrew's mustache? Let's let's go at this like let's go at this like the announcers of the fight would go. That's true. I would put half um, and half just because of the stash. So let's say this. This is how I'm gonna have my like, stash on the stash. I'm gonna be an announcer right now for my own fight. I'm mean, like, so if Andrew stays up. And he gets a, he uses his reach to his advantage, and he gets some good hits in. I think the fight's gonna go his way. If Farrell can take it to the ground, Farrell's got it locked, hands down. <laughs> Isn't Will Farrell so like depends. six foot eight and two sixty? No, he's six four, like two sixty. Andrew's really got to use his legs here. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. If he takes me to the ground game, it's, now look, it's gonna man, get dirty. I don't want to bring up nightmares, but... brother, but. Do you remember trying to catch a pop up behind second base, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> I remember I caught I'm it to just, the forehead, bro. I'm just saying your footwork <laughs> ain't the best, brother. Okay, Dude, you, I'm just saying, saying if you and Will Ferrell were fighting each other in the octagon, I would totally stand on the side with a bucket of lube and dump it on y'all. <laughs> yeah. It would make it twice so, as good. So, yeah. so here's the thing, Come Randall. On, you, you think I don't know if you remember this, Randall, but like. Yeah, it was bad whenever I tried to catch. Those pop-ups are like the hardest pop-ups to catch on the field unless you're a catcher. Catcher's got Well, it's because any pop-up to you is a line drive. But Because <laughs> you're so damn tall. <laughs> no, we had a hill right behind the, the base. So it's no, like yeah, I it was either. very poor design. It was very and, poorly designed in field, yeah. And I'm, and I'm also like 6'8", so it's like my lanky ass doesn't move very well. You, are, I mean, I already know that. But, First of all, you should have never been a second baseman anyways because of your build. I know. Uh, no, I, I was a PO. Do you remember? I was a okay. PO, bro. But <laughs> bro, okay. Anyway, so, so I, go ahead, go well, ahead. because because of me being horrible at catching these fly balls at second base, I was like, "Fuck it, I'll go to the outfield, and catch them all the time." Right? How dumb is that? But that was my idea. So I go to the <laughs> outfield, and the one time I'm trying to do the outfield stuff, we're warming up for a game, and the other team is out there right next to us, right. And we're not talking to each other, but I it's my turn. I go up. Freaking uh what's his name? Who was the guy that did the uh Harlem Shake with us? What was his name? Uh Co no, I know you're talking about I just, can we name drop or what? I remember the name, but I don't Let's know if I should name drop it. Coach. Should I can I name drop it? Yeah. Yeah, it was Coach Shiflet. 
Coach All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Shiflet, so man. he hits me a pop up. I get under this thing and lose it. And I'm like trying to cover the sun with my glove. And this thing hits me right in the forehead, knocks my baseball cap off my head, like nailed me. I'm surprised I didn't. I, I probably got a concussion from it. And the and team's like, all right, boys, hit it to the left. whole other team was laughing <laughs> their asses off, just talking shit. And I was like, oh, God, this was a bad decision. Dude, I just why was right into the dugout. Why was high school, baseball, right the dugout was high school baseball like Lord of the Flies? Like this other team would show up, never met these dudes, never talked to them. Probably the coolest dudes ever that we could party with and hang out with. You know? I know. And they, they show up to the field and we're like, hell no, nah, dude. I hate those guys, dude. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm, the I'm only freaking, ones that I, that I'm I'm I thought were the coolest. Do y'all remember when we played St. Thomas and Uriel was going crazy with these kids? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, those was kids it? handled that really well. You know what I mean? Was like, that we the, were... was that the kids would beat twenty-seven to one? No, no, that no. was uh, that was A. Leaf Taylor. That was A. Leaf Taylor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I that pitched was, against St. Thomas, was... and I threw I threw six innings and threw four balls the whole time. Wow, the rest of us give up. I do remember that. Uh, I gave up six <laughs> runs, kidding. and then we put and then we put in a closer, uh, which Dang, was six innings and six runs, dude. Come on. Yeah, but I threw bro. four balls. It was the fielders, bro. It was the fielders. I had a shit team from Willis. You know what I mean? <laughs> bro, our, our, <laughs> I had a terrible team. Our team. I, I got a D one third baseman. The rest but... of the team sucked, no, bro. No, what happened is, we, and we were holding up. We were six. We had four runs. They had six. It was a close game the whole game, and then. Um, what was that kid? He threw it. I think his name was Brandon, and he would bounce balls like on home plate. Do you remember that weak ass pitcher that we had? Okay, I don't remember his name. No, I remember the scenario though. Yes. Do you, you do you remember who I'm talking about though? He had a kind of yes. like a bowl cut. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pale white kid. Yeah, I don't yes. remember what his name was though. Pretty sure I saw him recently. Um, really. Yeah. yeah, is that the is that the every time the coach would put that kid in, everyone would be like, "Oh shit!" Well, there's that game. <laughs> is, that remember, the kid we, is that the kid we used to freaking... call Rufus? Huh? Mm, we used to call I, him Rufus. Maybe the same kid. Because I'm pretty sure I saw him not that long ago. He goes to school with me. I don't know. I do remember. I remember we were so freaking pumped that we beat A. Leaf Taylor, and then we found out that like 90 percent of their team was not playing because they were doing track <laughs> yeah we because we beat him like 20 it was literally 27 to 1 we beat them we, in three we, innings, we were yeah. we were batting through the lineup twice every inning we, played, <laughs> yeah, we, we played three innings and we run ruled them every inning we did. <laughs> it was fantastic it was the only win that we was had basically that, year. A, <laughs> that was basically a batting practice game yeah pretty much we were hitting the whole time I was, if you I, didn't we, go we four for so... four in that game, you got kicked off the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't get to play for the rest of the year, bro. We were... <laughs> yeah, we were batting around the lineup. You, we all went eight for eight. <laughs> eight for all right, eight. so, so <laughs> what I think we should do now is each get to pick a celebrity. Okay. okay. They go in a, a no-holds matchup in the octagon, cage matchup, <clears throat> who's coming out on top. Celebrity versus celebrity, we all get... We all get one matchup. We each get to, to pick discuss. one celebrity. No fighters, just straight up, straight up celebrity Cele- versus celebrity. celebrity. We could we could do it a couple times. Um, like no, I, there's a couple. One each. One each. Yeah. Unless we make it mm. quick. All right, all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All okay, right, you go I first then, since you got lightning some. round. Lightning round. All right. Um. I thought you had. Liam I Neeson. thought you had a bunch. <laughs> Liam Neeson. No, I do. I have a couple that I want to choose. Liam Neeson versus who? So you're choosing one, or we're choosing the other. No, one? y'all choose them, and then it's who. who no, you I think thought would be the winner. I thought you were saying you pick. You say someone versus someone, and we pick who would win. All right, fine. Liam Neeson versus Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Mm, Liam Neeson never dies, bro. Kim, he dies Keanu in Reeves. one show. Keanu noise. <laughs> Keanu Reeves is yeah. <laughs> Keanu Reeves, he's got gun control, but but is hand in combat, hand to hand combat. But, have you seen Liam Neeson and Taken? But here's like, the thing: Have you bro. seen John Wick two and three? Well, and not one? only that, but Keanu Reeves is the one, bro. Yeah, he's Neo. He is. Have you seen the Matrix? He's the one. I've seen Matrix. He's also gonna be Ghost Rider. He can dodge any. I'm going. I'm going Keanu. I love. Yeah, I love Keanu? Liam Neeson's. I'm going Keanu. 
he can dodge every punch. Yeah. Bro. I, I like how you always add the S after Neeson. Liam Neeson's. <laughs> Liam also, Neeson's knees also, on his knees, knees on a Nissan. <laughs> Liam Neeson's knees on his knees, knees on a Nissan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so just sorry to interrupt real quick. Did you see that? Like, so they they Marvel Studios met has met with Jake Gyllenhaal every time they come out with a movie until they found the perfect role for him, which was Mysterio. That's his name, right? In Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Apparently. They do the exact same thing with Keanu Reeves. They meet with Keanu found, Reeves for every every movie, like every role, until they find the perfect role for him. And supposedly, he's supposed to be Ghost Rider in the new in the, movie, in the new movies coming up from Nicolas like, Cage. Dang, oh, that's son. a move right there. <clears throat> I love Dude, me some Dude, I feel like Cage, if, you, if you if you make Keanu it into a Marvel Reeves, movie, man. you 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 make like a hundred million dollars from that movie if you're like a really Easily. good actor. Hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. That's what you make. Like. Um, All right, you want to go next, Randall? No, you go. I don't have one yet. If I'm being oh, completely hell. honest, uh, I can do. I mean, we can do a Marvel. We can do a Marvel see. matchup. Okay. You want me to do a Marvel okay. matchup? Wait, real quick. Okay. Britney Spears. First. Oh, you're going women fight. You going cat Br- fight? Britney Spears versus Lady Gaga. Britney Spears. Britney Spears all day. That's, that's <laughs> not even a, not even a got, match. She had Lady, what, Lady Gaga got like the technical training, but Britney Spears from the streets or what? Like, yeah. Britney yeah. Spears doesn't give a single shit about anything. <laughs> Dude, she will shave her hair so that way Lady Gaga can't pull her hair in the yeah, fight. Yeah, straight up. She would. I wouldn't doubt that for a single second. Um, Man, I mean, I really don't even think that's a matchup, if I'm being completely honest. Seriously? I think Lady Gaga is significantly more talented, but ah, Brittany, Brittany okay. is crazy, gonna beat her ass. She's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Britney Spears versus Rosie O'Donnell. If we're being completely honest, I don't know much about Rosie O'Donnell. I don't know I just who know, Rosie O'Donnell is. I just know a lot okay, of people. Okay, Roseanne Barr. Mm, don't know who that is from the you show. Know who Roseanne? Roseanne is. No, you never watched Roseanne. Roseanne? No. Man, that'd be tough. I, I might have to go Roseanne <laughs> on that one. He's freaking screaming to death, dude. Yeah, well, not only that, but like, I just, I feel like, like just Britney's, accounting Britney's, for BMI here. Like, well, okay, yeah, that too. <laughs> but Britney Spears is crazy. Like, she she's just a crazy person. But Roseanne might uh might be like a little more tactical in her thoughts. Like, you know, she's like a premeditated killer. You know yeah, what I mean? For sure. She's she been planning this for months. Yeah, maybe years. I'm going to go because, look, man, everybody debates which which superhero is the best. Oh, this is actually a better idea. We'll, what? we'll do the we'll do the matchup of the brothers. You ready for this? OK. Oh, Chris no. Hemsworth versus Liam Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Which one's which one's Thor? Chris, Chris. Hemsworth. He whooping that ass easily. Really? You think so? Yeah, he whooping that ass. The other one, the other one, dude, he just looks like a normal guy. <laughs> But Thor, he ripped. <laughs> okay, well let me let me do this then. Since everyone talks about like which superhero is the best, instead of okay. doing a celebrity, a celebrity versus celebrity thing, we'll end it off with a uh, a freaking which which superhero wins out of all of them, and we can do Marvel and DC. Any any comic book superhero, which wins the uh, what what do they call that in the WWE? That's like the 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 cage match or whatever smackdown is a smackdown it's like where the, it's like 20 of them and they gotta throw they throw them <laughs> yeah. out of the ring yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. smackdown rumble, royal, over the ropes rumble. over the ropes royal rumble i thought it was royal rumble royal rumble like over that. the ropes yeah so which which superhero in either universe wins the fight ryan seacrest <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> hey i know it doesn't make any sense <laughs> No, seriously, come on. Okay, well, Hawkeye's okay. out first. Black Widow's out first. Batman's getting his butt whooped. Uh, oh, man. I think the one that's OP is... Um, Obviously, Superman's last one of the last people in there. No, either the, the... I can't remember which one it is because it's been so long since I've seen the Avengers with them. The dude that's red and he's got the stone in his head. Vision. Or Vision. The, the girl that's with him. They're both uh, like Wanda. OP. You say Bofa? 
I, I was gonna say something else, and then I, I kind of <laughs> tried to censor it. Uh, they're both OP, dude. One of them. I could see that. That they're both definitely both on the end. She is significantly stronger than you could even imagine. Than yeah, everybody. okay, then it's yeah. her. Yeah, it's her. Because I knew, whenever I watched that Avengers and I saw them, I was like, like Avengers Civil War and they were featured in it, I was like, dude, that chick OP. <laughs> what, is, what is her, I forget what her freaking, like, Scarlet superhero, Witch. Scarlet Witch, yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, out of all the, <clears throat> out of all the Marvel characters, like, yeah, she's probably one of the strongest ones. She's got to be stronger than Thor. She's definitely stronger than. Uh, Gotta be stronger than Thor. Now listen, bro. Yeah, she's dude, strong. She's def- Thor is not that strong, bro. Thor is a god. Yeah, but he's not that strong. I mean, like, okay, so he's Thor a legit, is, Thor is he's a really Viking strong. god, bro. He's, he's a legit he's not like, god. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. He it, controls the lightning, like, bro. Thor's the last one of the last three in there, right? But I think he's got to be losing to Wanda. I think, I think she could put a sh- like she's she stronger because deflect cause... from that lightning, bro. She could be like screw that lightning. Yeah, well, she oh. can also manipulate everyone. Also, we're also forgetting about Doctor <laughs> Strange. I know he's kind of like kind of oh, heavy, he, he, but he I'm goes cool. hard. Also, he kind of cool too. Yeah, and Spider Man. I don't know. This I is just... tough. Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I just, I feel like <laughs> Doctor Strange is very powerful, but he's not very. Uh, Mm, um, I don't skilled know. in combat, yeah, like skill, yeah, skilled in combat. But he doesn't need to be, dude. He, would Doctor Strange just, he just whips everybody to a different dimension instantly, and he's the last one in the ring, and he wins. Yeah, but that's not from like a strategic a, standpoint. Yeah, that's fair if we're gonna, you know, put powers into it and everything. But you know, if they actually had to fight and not just like run. Okay, well, who's winning, Captain Marvel or Scarlet Witch? I think Scarlet. I man. I don't know, dude. Captain Marvel's pretty so are strong, you, too. Are you telling me right now that I don't even watch all these movies and I straight up can recognize that I've got that the one I picked is like the strongest one? She's one of them. Yeah, man. pretty much. I don't even Captain watch Marvel, all these Captain movies. Marvel's stronger than Thor. Who's so. Captain Marvel? Brie Larson. <laughs> That's the yeah, actress. Okay, first of all, it's a terrible character and it sucks, but. Uh, yeah, just going off power levels. It's kind of like they ended the whole thing. So if you ever watch Justice League, so I back, agree with equality, but I don't think a woman should be Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's always been a woman. She's always been a woman. Okay, it's, edit that out. Can you edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> just go no. back and watch it. Go you back and watch know. the Justice That's... League. Right? It's like the I whole movie. I don't know anything about this. It's when you when I hear Captain Marvel, I think Captain America, and I'm like. Yeah, I, I thought like, it was a male too. Yeah. Whenever it at first, so you go back. You just like Justice League is like Wonder Woman and Batman and like Cyborg, and they're all fighting this dude the whole time. And like, oh, we can't win, we suck. And then like Superman just comes in and one punches him, and he dies instantly. Right? I feel like they did the <laughs> same thing with Captain Marvel in Endgame, where they were like, everyone's everyone's fighting, you know, and they're like, oh, give me the gauntlet, we got to keep it safe. And then she just flies in and blows up the entire ship, and then single-handedly destroys Thanos for, like, five solid minutes. Yeah. I've, well, never, I mean, seen, she's super I've never seen anything to do with Captain Marvel. I, I don't she has her own movie, it. bro, and she was in have Endgame. You seen it? Wait. I've wait. never seen it, bro. Like, Have you ever seen Avengers Endgame? I thought so, but I don't recognize Brie Larson's you character You never Captain saw... Marvel. What it, what happened? What was the very last What was the very last I thing that happened? I saw someone cut Thanos' head off with an axe. That was the very beginning yeah, of Endgame. Yeah, it's the very beginning of Endgame. Okay, then I must have seen Endgame, but I don't remember Brie Larson's character. She, I don't know. I'm starting to. I don't know if I trust your judgment right now. I'm trying to. Anyways, we can I, all agree I, I, that this any is what of the this DC is what my point was though is that I end. don't even watch these movies, and I can tell you right now that the dude with the stone in his head and the girl that's with him all the time are OP. So as much as I hate to say this, I think mm-hmm. Superman's going to beat all of them just because his character is designed to be the strongest ever, and there's nothing that can beat him unless except for kryptonite. they have kryptonite. Which yeah. Doctor Strange would whip some kryptonite into our universe real quick, exactly. And but I'm saying like Superman. that's the problem. That's the flaw with Superman's character is like he's designed to be <laughs> the unbeatable character. Like nobody can beat Superman unless yeah. you have kryptonite. 
which is also why Superman sucks. Well, is that you true know? though? Right. I think I think that dude with the stone in his head and the girl could take Superman on and whip his ass. No, dude, he's unkillable unless you have kryptonite. He's literally unkillable unless you have <laughs> kryptonite. <laughs> unkillable? Because or, think of yeah. the Superman that you We're see. We're not talking okay. about winning a fight. Like I'm not talking about like they need to kill his okay, ass. I'm just talking but, about like they just need to beat him up. I guarantee they could get that dude on the ground, no problem. Okay, but check this out, right? That's fair. If, when you super nerd out, there's regular Superman, right? And then there's Golden Superman <laughs> 1 million, which is like the super awesome 1 million version of Superman where his power increases by 1 million. <laughs> and then it's, it's just like, it's stupid. So like no one's going to beat him. Does, does he go like Super Saiyan or something? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so, so Andrew saying Scarlet Witch, what's your final choice then, Sean? Unless everybody? Just, yeah, we just got to assume everything's Superman. on the table. Said Superman, so you're I saying think. Superman wins it? No, I'm going Batman. No, you're okay. not. You said Batman was out and one of the first people out. Yeah, but I, I, I changed my thoughts because he beat Superman by himself. So, <laughs> but Christian Bale as Batman but, is but pretty awesome. But that was awesome. only. So I'm going to say Christian Bale. <laughs> <laughs> but that was only because they had this. Their mom had the same name. That's the only reason that that never ended. No, but Batman was winning. Mm. He was. Mm. Batman yeah. beat Superman. Are y'all? About Batman versus Superman, uh, that movie seems so dumb to me. Like, it I sucked, would yes. think it was very sucked. terrible. Yes, but I didn't watch it, but I would just think like Superman will whoop Batman's ass. He did, but, but Batman's Batman got had kryptonite. kryptonite. Okay, Batman and Tony Stark are basically the same person, so either one of them are winning. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna go with Tony Stark, he's probably smart. Nah, bro. No way, dude. Nah. Thor takes out nah. Iron. First nah. of all, Thor nah. takes out 99% of everybody. Tony Stark he'll... invented time travel. He could just go back no, in time and keep fighting until he learns how to win. Tony Stark did not invent time travel, bro. Okay, he invented a time machine. Excuse me. Yeah, okay. Thor can travel anywhere in the freaking universe at the snap of a finger, bro. Except back when in time. When did someone invent a time machine? When did Tony Stark Andrew invent... hasn't seen any of these movies, and he is very confused. All right, well, <laughs> Andrew's pick is pretty solid still, though, because she's pretty, really strong. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Tony Stark Thor, snapped half... So. Tony Stark snapped the universe back into existence. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, with okay, we're okay with the <laughs> gauntlet, bro, and it killed him. Anyways, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I didn't see anybody else do it. He doesn't. He did it for a specific reason. He wouldn't have done it, you know, freaking ten brains years o- before. Brains that. over brawn, dude. Tony Stark's got the highest <laughs> IQ out of any creature in the Marvel no, universe. No, Jarvis does. <laughs> No, it's still Tony Stark. Jarvis has the the highest IQ. Tony Stark. Who made Jarvis? To him. Tony Stark is charismatic. I think that's where he gets his. Dude, you look it up. Tony I love Stark Iron is... Man, bro, but he's not winning. Thor would literally smack him out of the ring with his hammer immediately. So you don't even have to touch him, dude. What? Okay, okay. So yes, Thor versus Iron Man, hand to hand combat. Thor is winning. Right. Exactly. But there's a lot of people in this ring, right? Tony Stark can hide. He can hide. <laughs> no, he's not hiding. <laughs> First of all, everyone knows that there's a, 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 a slight uh, friendly rivalry between Thor and Iron Man. Thor would go for Iron Man first, bro. Straight up. Yeah, but he wouldn't go for the head. And then Iron Man would time travel and take advantage okay. of that. Okay. We're not talking about it. <laughs> That's a very sad situation. That's just taking me back to the moment when that happened in the theater. And I was, ah. Oh. Why? Why not just go for the head? <laughs> so who are no, you I'm seriously just, just, picking? No. I mean, well, yes, in the sense of, like, he's probably stronger because he's smarter, but when it comes to hand-to-hand combat in a Royal Rumble, WWE, Bruce McMahon style, I'm probably going to go with... I'll Bruce probably go with... <laughs> I'll probably go with... Uh, probably Wanda, yeah. Honestly. Yeah, I think that's probably close to my pick, too. So y'all agree with me? I I, yeah, I, 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 I don't that. even watch these movies, bro. I want to say Thor, but Wanda's just so strong, bro. And she's so unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. Like, you never know when I, she's just we, gonna... we haven't even seen anything close to her full powers yet, either. Right, exactly. Well, oh, we're already really freaking deep into this, dude. What were you going to say? Get it in. I was going to say, so in the comic books... Mm-hmm. So, the, so... Oh, man, that's a spoiler. Uh, but in the so you know how in Age of Ultron, Wanda and it was supposed to be Quicksilver, not X Men Quicksilver, but like Wanda's brother, yeah, 
supposed to be like Quicksilver, right? Mm -hmm. But in the comic books, their dad is Magneto. Yeah. And so I've been seeing a lot of stuff about how that's how they're going to introduce the X-Men into the Marvel Universe. Yeah. I was like, yeah, dude. Yeah. That would be awesome. So what's so special about the X-Men? The X-Men are awesome. The X-Men are just another Marvel comic. It's just like with comic books, there's so many different universes that everything subsides. Are X-Men born with the power, though? Yeah. 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 And one of them just just has metal spice that come out of his hand, and that's his superpower? Well, no. Wolverine was born a mutant, so he has mutated genes. And his, his mutated genes, he has, like, bone claws. They come out of his hands. And that's his only power? Is he, like, faster or something? Oh, he has... Well, he regenerates. Like, he pretty much can't kill him. He has, like, yeah. super fast regeneration or whatever, but... That's why, like, when so he gets shot like in he all got, the movies, he, he doesn't it care. Seems like he, it seems like he got a lame-ass deal, bro. <laughs> and, he's, and he's pretty I strong, mean, yeah. not really. He can't <laughs> die. That seems pretty awesome. Yeah, he literally survived Hiroshima. <laughs> yeah. Watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> like... Dude, have y'all seen? Okay, it's straight up. I want like, all the listeners. I want all the listeners to know this. Have Have y'all seen Chernobyl? No, on I, HBO I don't watch or it. the place. Dude, the y'all, y'all, y'all need to watch the show Chernobyl. It's the, one of my favorite shows I've ever seen in my entire life. I it's it. talking about how like when Chernobyl happened, basically like within the first day, it was the equivalent to like fifty five Hiroshima's. Yeah, radiation. Like it, it's a really good show. It's on HBO. Ren, I'll, I'll hook you up with the uh, login info on my HBO account, so you can watch that in the Tiger Woods <laughs> just documentary. Go, just go ahead and tell the viewers, everyone. Okay, yeah, just drop it right now. <laughs> I, also, um, I also need it. All right, we uh, uh, we need to get to the end of this. We're running really long on this one, so. All right, it's all right. All right. The listeners are gonna have fun with this one. Let's just Dude. go. I, I'm gonna. I think. I mean, I'm probably just gonna leave my rating at the. I've done this. Uh, I've done this twice in a row now, though. If I do that, uh, I'll drop it one point. I'll go to a six point four from a six point five. You gonna drop it down? Yeah, just cause. I don't know. I I want to keep it the same. Honestly, I want to keep it at six point five. I'll keep it at six point five. It's good. It's still really good. Dude. If I'm telling you, I've had I've had two of these, eight percent alcohol. If I drank three, or maybe four, once I got to the fourth one, dude, I'd probably be pretty yoked. That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm. I'm that's what yoked, I'm gonna bro. say about this. <laughs> like I haven't had dinner yet, so that might be an effect in this. But I had my beers, dinner at four o'clock today. These oh my beers, god, what are you in a nursing get, home? Yeah. Well, these. <laughs> These these beers, uh, you feel them a lot. You really do. I mean, well, I mean, then again, it's like we're at eight percent ABV. Like, what are we going to be drinking next? Wine? Like yeah. every time yeah. we have a beer, we're just getting higher and higher. <laughs> yeah. On the ABV. But no, I I feel these two beers, and um, I can't give it a rating because I can't taste really well. But I'm going to give them a ten because I really really like a ten. It. <laughs> a ten based off my buzz in the can alone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have a buzz going. So do I. <laughs> uh, I. I'll keep it the same. I think I said 7.9, right? Yeah. Seven I'm not nine. actually giving it a 10, so don't yeah. put 10 down for me. I did good. not write that down. Don't worry. I I know better. It's going to be like three weeks from now, and Andrew's going to be like, oh, I can taste a little bit more now. Yeah, I can give ratings because <laughs> I can taste about half of what I used to be able to taste. Yeah. Yeah. Next week, you might just have to tough it out and... uh. Do it. Get over it. Get yeah. it. Just get over my stubborn yeah. illness. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, you know, this is the end of the podcast. We always come to this point, and I'm going to tell you to go follow us on Twitter at Off the Tap Pod. That's the best place to get in contact with us if you want to give us your opinion on the beers that we drink or give us a recommendation on the beers you drink or give us some topics to talk about, whatever. That's the best place to do it. Yeah, I love each and every one of you listeners. Um, hopefully we can start to get a community growing. We're about to start to try and, and go down some avenues. We've got big things coming. Uh, hopefully we can grow and, and do it all together. Yes, sir. Also, check us out on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. 
that we do. Little face, little Facebook page hanging out. Uh, it's not as active as the Twitter because Randall runs the Twitter and he's the he Twitter. is perfect at it. He's, he's the Twitter genius, greatest so. marketing error in the history of America. But just remember, uh, <laughs> just remember, it's even better with the mustache, bro. If I can get everyone to take home something from this podcast, just get to, to get serious for a moment, you know. If if anyone could take anything home from this episode of the podcast, just remember that this six pack of Spindle Tap Heavy Hands was fourteen dollars. So, please but it will also buy out. you three buzzes if you separate them into two beers. <laughs> so please make sure to check us out on Off the Tap Podcast on Patreon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> help us a little bit. Randall, go ahead and start it off. Oh, y'all know what time it is, man. If you ain't getting dirty. Thou is not getting fun. <laughs>